I'm Angeline, Asia Design Manager. I'm so happy presenting our Global Heroes to introduce our commercial new collection for 2018 and 19. We start from our global trend, which connects the function and also emotion. And then we invite external and internal experts to help us define the concepts for Asia. And as well, we develop the concepts for Asia. This collection is delicate for Asia culture and Asia customers. Let's start from the trend. We are very much into the digital world. I hope this year we can go beyond digital world. In this fast-paced lifestyle, maybe we have already stepped out of the comfort zone for too long. It's time for us to recreate a comfort zone for ourselves. We hope that with our new product, we can create a moment of calm among the chaos. Here we have some woods which are very clean, uh, usable and calming. And they are very much Scandinavian look, very subtle. And then we go to the metallic leather. It's a leather but with the uh, metallic effect. Very, very nice. So what we call here is like a gentle luxury. And it's also about precious stones in this seam. So we just go around the world to find the best piece of the stone. Very much dedicated on the details. Pattern itself, it's also about the touch. Very smooth, very silky. We call it nude matte. And touch and feeling is very important to create a comfort zone. And now we find that there's no boundary of art and design. And people start to appreciate the arts that stand the test of time. And as well, we start to recognize history. This time we try to take a low technology approach. This is about freehand style and also taking time to craft and artwork. And we uh, develop a new Ugran texture. Actually, it's not the normal Ugran. We use the end block to uh, create this design. We call it end grain. And this is our hero product. For my guard designer, do the color paint layer upon layer. I will say this paint also deliver a feeling of confidence. This uh, collection is uh, full of creativity. It brings a feeling of energy and optimism. This is very good for feature wall, so please create your feature world with our art. And this time we uh, rethink of the resources. It's a waste-less attitude. We seek new technology to collaborate better with nature. In this scene, we have the weathered uh, materials, weathered ugwen, which are damaged from outdoor furniture. And then we also have some colors uh, that's inherent from natural materials. It starts uh, with the global trend, and then we found out that we can create this product with our scrap paper from the factory. And this is truly sustainable product and really doing contribution to the environment. So yeah, I'm really uh, proud of it. Hi, my name is Pan Yi Cheng. I run a studio in Singapore. It's called Produce Workshop. And laminate is interesting because it has been used to almost mimic any surface material. So there are a few things that we tried. One is to understand the material. It's brittle and quite hard. So what if we try to break the structure of it? And uh, we explored laser cutting on laminate to make it curvy so that it falls naturally on the surface. If our substrate is curved, it, it can apply easily and you can see that the, the curvature is very small when we can break the structure of laminate. The other thing is that it always has to be applied onto a backing. And so to us, the backing is as important as the laminate itself. This is interesting and could be a new character. And we could apply any laminate onto this and uh, still achieve this mixed result between the real plywood backing behind and the laminate in front. 
The third one is layering. Because it's so flat, it can actually be glued onto any surface. So what if we glue it onto itself so that we stick laminate onto laminate and then create a, some kind of valley. Another example is we create hexagonal patterns and create kind of relief. And so each one of them has different layers across the entire surface. And this gives the laminate added dimension. It becomes three-dimensional. Lastly, when you have laminate and you use it for carpentry or for any other application, you, you cannot avoid off-cuts. And these are wastage and you, that you throw away. And we thought, what can we do with this waste? So we laser cut it again to little small pieces and then uh, put it over a surface and we use uh, color grouting to cover up gaps in between and then flatten it. And because it's laminate, it's easy to clean off the grout from the surface and we, we get this terrazzo effect. We can fully utilize the whole material, uh, even the wastage. I feel that uh, laminate can complement also real materials or other material in the sense that in design, we always create a diagram in the space. Uh, we organize the space almost like a diagram. So I feel that at least in our studio, we like to have a certain grouping for design feature, meaning that we also diagram with material, with textures and reflectivity. When we look at a space, it will have its foreground and background. And Laminate provides that very efficient way of quickly creating an overall presence of the feature that you want to show in the foreground. But at the same time, we see it into the background as a backdrop and show other materials. So actually, it's very accommodating. It allows you to work with a color scheme, but yet very quickly, you can use it to highlight a certain feature in the space. In this project, we actually use uh, the spaces that we have done before. We think and revise it with a different type of material, different laminates, different color scheme. And the interesting thing is that through this process, we realize that the same space, the same function, can have a totally different emotional response because the color of the laminate and the reflection of light on the laminate will create a different mood. This shows the possibilities of laminate to be able to also create an emotional response with the viewer in the same space if you are able to change very quickly the color as well as the material. Uh, I think for my car has the desire to work more and more with designers. By working with designers, they put themselves at the front of the process rather than supplier of material. They are involved with designers as partners in shaping a design. The catalog won't be just representing a real material anymore, but it will be its own product, its own material. And this could be used for feature walls, or they could be used for many different kinds of applications and even for cabinetry doors. But if they use the other technique that we created, which is the, to break the structure of it, I think then the possibilities is even more because it can be applied onto different topographies, different surfaces, and maybe laminate will not be just limited to flat surface. And there's much more uh, possibilities that laminate can achieve.